Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. Today I'm going to show you how to properly wash and dry your microfiber towels. Now, these are amazing tools to use both in your house and in your car if you're doing car detailing because they're great at picking up dust, dirt, grime, liquids. They're super absorbent and they last for a long time if you take proper care of them. So that's why we're here today. I did two previous tutorials on cleaning microfiber towels and those went viral. That just goes to show how much people uh, are curious to know how to take care of these amazing tools. By the way, anything I talk about today, I'll leave linked in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Also, you want to stay tuned all the way till the end because I'm also going to be giving you some pro tips on how you can revive some older towels that might not be as high performance as they used to be when you first got them. So your first order of business is going to be to wash your microfiber towels before their first use. This is going to help to prevent linting but also removes any other factory uh, induced fibers that are there when they're being produced over at the, uh, the factories themselves. Also when you're washing them for the first time separate your your darker towels like these dark reds, the uh, black and the dark blue towels from your lighter colored blues or yellows or whites because you don't want the colors to bleed into your lighter towels. So that's also super important. By the way, all these tips and tricks apply to not only microfiber towels but also your microfiber drying towels. If you use those to dry your vehicle, they're the most efficient uh, and safe way to dry a vehicle. Forget the old chamois, that's a thing of the past. Uh, and it also applies to your microfiber wash mitts and uh, anything microfiber. So when you're washing your towels, I highly recommend that you split them up into different piles. So have your glass towels separate from your wheel and engine bay towels, separate from your polishing towels or polish removal towels if you're doing uh, paint correction on your paint, and also separate from perhaps all purpose towels. Basically do categories with your towels, that way you avoid cross contamination. I highly recommend that you use a microfiber specific detergent and in this case my favorite one and one that was developed specifically for use with microfiber towels is PNS rags to riches now it comes in this bigger gallon size but you can also get it in a quart size and I find this one very very practical why because it has this dispenser up top with markings here that on one side have milliliters and the other side ounces and you use not a lot of this. So for light loads, only one ounce uh, or 30 mils, 30 milliliters. And for larger loads, you use two ounces or 60 milliliters. So this has been developed by PNS. They're a car detailing products manufacturer. And what they decided to do is a lot of the towels lose their absorbency when you detail because we use a lot of products that have protection in them, whether it's waxes or ceramic based sprays. And those tend to coat the fibers themselves and over time they make them less effective and less absorbent. So by using this you're restoring the original properties of your towels. So this is my favorite microfiber detergent. Again links in the description under the video. Quick disclaimer this is not a sponsored video. Nobody paid for this video. I'm just sharing my thoughts and opinions. Uh, if you don't have a, a microfiber specific detergent you probably have something like this at home or you can get it. Uh, this is Tide Free and Clear or Free and Gentle. It works super well. Uh, the main Thing you can use all clear as well. Basically anything that is free uh, of any fabric softeners, no dyes, no bleaches and no scents, just a pure detergent. Uh, I remind you that why we do not use fabric softeners on microfiber towels is because those fabric softeners, they're going to coat the fibers. Don't forget, microfibers are kind of like these fingered loops. That's what helps to pick up stuff and they create static electricity. That's one thing that you do want because that's what helps them pick up the dirt and the dust and all the grime. If you have something with a fabric softener in it, you're coating those fibers, you're making them less absorbent and less efficient at what they do. So that is key. On your washing machine, what you are going to do is you're going to select Select the normal setting, so that's normal speed. But the important thing here is we're going to look at the temperature settings. So ideally, if your towels are uh, lightly dirty to moderate amounts of dirt, what we're going to do is just select cold water washing. This is what you would use 80% of the time. That's more than enough. And also, I always like to use the extra rinse setting because you're going to flush out all the chemicals that your towels absorb and then you hit play. The only difference, if your towels are super dirty, you can put the temperature setting 
up to warm. I would not use hot and there is a reason for that. It's still out for debate out there, but basically microfiber towels are made out of a blend of polyester and polyamide fibers. Those have melting points. Now it's anywhere between 140, 300, 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Nobody really truly knows, but to avoid getting to that point, stick to warm water as the highest temperature setting and you'll be fine because typically uh, on washing machines, uh, the um, warm setting is anywhere from 90 to 110 Fahrenheit. So in your household, water tanks or water heaters are generally set to roughly 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Celsius, which some say that it could be the starting melting point of microfibers. So that's why I would avoid using the hot setting. Stay to warm or generally just use cold and you'll be fine. Use the extra rinse and also do not use powder detergents because the powders sometimes don't fully dissolve. They can leave some residue and that could potentially mar the paint if you use them uh, on your paintwork when you're doing detailing. So always use liquid detergents. You're done washing your towels. Now it's time to dry them. That's one of the most crucial stages where the information is key. You can either use a um, clothing rack dryer to just air dry them or I prefer to use a dryer but this is where the settings are crucial guys once again. So you're going to take your drying machine and you're going to find the setting like air dry or air fluff basically the lowest possible heat setting or no heat. In this case it just uses ambient heat to dry the towels and start and that's it you're good to go. So it's important to use the lowest possible heat setting or like in this case the air fluff or the air dry setting so no heat at all because again the heat is going to melt the fibers and the dryer attains a much higher heat uh, setting compared to a washing machine so this is where you want to be careful because if you melt the fibers the, fi the fibers are quite gentle uh, and they're sensitive to heat so once they melt they curl up and they're not effective anymore your towels are essentially good for the garbage if you did that mistake unfortunately you can't come back from that now for a quick pro tip one thing you can do if you want to help restore or rejuvenate the towels that perhaps are not absorbing as much or you didn't know about the rags to riches product that can restore your towels that have been perhaps coated by a ceramic spray or a wax or just over time you feel they don't have that static energy or that static electricity production anymore don't forget right those new towels when they come they feel a bit grabby on your fingers this is totally normal so that's how healthy microfiber towels are and how they're supposed to be so to help restore that you're going to take a five gallon wash bucket just a standard bucket fill it up with roughly four gallons of warm water and what you're going to do is you're going to take four ounces of the PNS rags to riches put that in the solution mix it up put your towels in there and let them soak for 12 to 24 hours basically just leave them overnight in that solution the next day you're going to see the uh, water is going to look pretty murky because this is pulls out a lot of the gunk and dirt uh, from your old towels and then you're just going to wash them as we previously said so you're going to put them in your washing machine to normal setting either cold or warm temperatures that is fine as long for me I would not use the hot setting uh, you're going to use the appropriate amount of your microfiber detergent or your free and clear or free and gentle uh, type detergent no fabric softeners and then you're going to put the extra rinse feature as well to make sure we flush out all the chemicals once that's done either put them on a rack to dry to air dry or in your washing machine uh, in your dryer sorry uh, at the um, air dry or air fluff or the lowest possible heat setting again no dryer sheets no dryer balls uh, just let the machine do its thing they're going to come back rejuvenated and absolutely amazing by the way, if you don't have the PNS rags to riches and still would like to rejuvenate your towels, what you can do is in that five gallon bucket, still add four gallons of warm water and add two cups of just plain white vinegar. The same white vinegar you use for cooking in your household and let those towels again soak for 12 to 24 hours. Just leave them overnight and then wash them and dry them as per usual and they should come back looking brand new. By the way, I remind you, I'll leave links to all this stuff, including quality microfiber towels, where to get them in the description under the video. Also, I made a video on which towels you need for which uses, so that's always cool. And again, I'll leave those linked in the description. Guys, help support this channel. Smash the thumbs up button. That helps the algorithm promote the video even more. Also, share this video with family and friends that might benefit from this information. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.